Jean Paul Michel once wrote a poem to his son. It was called Poem to My Son. <laughs> That's how I know it was Poem to His Son. <laughs> But there was a line in it, I remember, what, where he was encouraging. It was a poem of encouragement to his son. And he said, who was, I think, like 14 at the time. And he said, learn, learn to laugh and cry with a gentle heart. So there's something about knowing, beginning to trust um, not so much your outer manifestation, but your capacity for open receptivity to whatever happens. Or at least that's something in the, as you uh, are training this way, as you're getting used to this, as you're becoming familiar with this attitude, it's more like coming back to open receptivity. You forget about it, you lose it, you get triggered, you get the carried away, worked up, you do and say things you wish you hadn't, and then you come back to the open receptivity, the unconditional friendship with yourself. This leads naturally to our realization. When I say naturally, I don't mean quickly. But it is the basis. Intimacy and um, trust in our own heart, in our own uh, potential, leads, uh, is the foundation from which we, it begins to dawn on us that everybody else is in exactly the same boat. Everybody else has this potential and everybody else, just like us, covers it over. And actually in the Buddhist teachings, it's a teaching I've always loved, when the teaching is on compassion, it says, when you realize the basic goodness of yourself, then you see it in others as well. You see it in everyone. That's the basic teaching that it exists, that it, um, basic goodness, basic nobility, sanity, and wakefulness is a potential in all living beings. And you, um, you begin to really see that that's true, and then what breaks your heart is how most people, majority of us, not only cover it over, but uh, no one has ever even suggested to us that this is the case. So we never go, we never look deeper, we never try to touch the heart of our sorrow the heart of our grief or our shame. We never tried to touch beneath the hardness of anger, rage, jealousy, hatred. We never were never encouraged to uh, look and see that that open doorway to open receptivity, it's always there for any of us. And so we see that just like us, Everybody is uh, in a cycle of suffering, always trying to get away from these feelings and in, try and in running away, uh, escalating our aggression, escalating our jealousy, escalating our, our loneliness, escalating our addictions. We, we just reinforce the old habits. And as I say, I, I'm going to talk about this this afternoon. So we see that just like us, that's this person that's flying off the handle and who we feel so insulted by. Sure, we, we're triggered, but there's a part of us also that knows that this person is suffering. And um, they've gotten, they've become a professional. They have got it down how to inflame everybody that they meet, irritate everybody they meet, or whatever it might be. 
So you see that they're covering over their basic goodness. So what I'm trying to do here is fulfill my, um, uh, what do we call it when I was a school teacher? Our, um, huh? Lesson plan, <laughs> which was to last night talk about unconditional friendship for ourselves and today talk about equalness. So, to the degree that we can have a gentle heart a forgiving heart, but also very honest and able to look in the mirror and see our, our, our wicked ways, our, um, see our neurosis as neurosis, and still have a gentle heart, and still be open and receptive, not run away. I once went to a teaching where the um, the teacher suggested that every morning you get up, look at your face in the morning, and bow to yourself and say, I love you. <laughs> so it's not a bad thing to do. I, I don't like teachings like that usually because they seem a little corny. <laughs> but but it's the right direction. The t point I'm trying to make with this part of the talk is simply that this unconditional friendship for yourself is a friendship which see, trusts that the basic open receptivity, the basic sanity is always available. Open and receptive to whatever arises rather than trying to attain a, like a peaceful state or a a, you know, grab on to some uh, special state. It's just open and receptive to the state of mind that is there now, but looking at it more as the dynamic, fluid, impermanent energy of life as it's manifesting for you right now. So a kind of endearment or trust in the base, your basic sanity never leaving you. And so unconditional friendship is trusting that and also seeing with wide open eyes, with no self-deception, with a kind of a gentle heart or a brave heart, seeing all that is embarrassing in yourself, all that, that you're ashamed of in yourself, seeing it all without giving up on yourself. 